So I was fortunate enough this year to get to go to Blade Show 2016 here in Atlanta, the largest knife show in the world. And I got to tell you, Friday afternoon, I almost had a panic attack when I realized that somewhere I had walked off and left my backpack full of stuff. And um, as you can see, thankfully, I found it, and it's the VanQuest Trident 22.0. And I've had this a little while to review, but I want to check it out first so I can give you my honest opinion. That's what we're going to do next, coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So the folks at VanQuest were kind enough to send me their, can you see that now? <laughs> their Trident 20 2.0 backpack so I can show it to you. So I've had it for like a couple of months and I really wanted to use it um, and check it out. And I knew Blade Show was coming up and I really planned on using the Blade Show, which is going to be wearing this thing solid for like 12 hours a day, you know, two or three days straight. So I thought that'd be a good test of the comfort levels and how handy it is and all that. And so I've done so. And it really is, in my opinion, a very, very excellent pack. So we took a look recently at the Envoy 3.0 Messenger Bag. It's got some great features. Um, this is also same, same great construction, same great materials, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the same features, but it's got some pretty unique things I want to show you. So I'll stop rambling and let's get right to it. So, I mean, this is a very nice little backpack. And I was talking to Doug Ritter at Knife Rights, who's a great organization, by the way. There's a video about that. I highly encourage you to support them. But I reached down to put my knife in my pack and I realized, oh man, my pack's not here. And I was like freaking out in inside. I'm trying to be cool because I'm talking to Doug, you know, not wanting to look like, you know, crazy boy, but I was freaking out inside. And I'm asking, you know, because i just been talking to Jack at Black Scout Survival. Did I have it with me then? Did I have it? You know, you know how it goes. I mean, so I'm mentally retracing my steps, walking through this crowded thing as fast as I can, try trying to get back to Black Feather Knives display because I had done a quick video with Joe Honeycutt there and Joe Mobley was over there and we were talking and thankfully uh, it was underneath their table. So long story short, sorry for the little drama, but man, my heart rate was going up just thinking about it, by the way. But Anyway, I'll stop rambling now, and we'll uh, let's take it down the old stump top. We'll take a look at the details of this thing, and I'll, I'll talk about how I used it. There's so many different ways you can load this thing out. Um, there's no way I can try to cover all that. You can use your imagination. What I'm going to do is just show you what I think are some great features of this pack and let you figure out how you're going to use it yourself. So let's get down to the old stump top. Okay, so here, artistically propped up with a piece of wood, is the VanQuest Trident 20 Gen 2 backpack. And... Uh, like all the VanQuest stuff, I'll just say right, off, right up front, it is 100% very, very, very well made. Their logo is Tough Built Gear, and they are telling the truth, man. This is really good stuff. Everything about this thing is high quality. All the components are high quality. The, the uh, construction is high quality. It's just really good. So start out, this is the wolf gray color. It's actually available in several different colors. It's available in gray and black and coyote. And then for another 10 bucks, you can get it multi-cam or black multi-cam. And if you're, if you're curious, if you're not aware, the reason that some of the camo, camo patterns cost more is because they actually have to pay a licensing fee to the uh, designers of the camouflage. So they kind of copyrighted their patterns. So uh, re reputable companies that use those patterns, you're probably gonna pay a little more. So I know I could bore you to death talking about specifications. We could be talking about the 1000D mill grade Cordura fabric with a water repellent Teflon fabric protector by DuPont or the high visibility um, 210D ripstop nylon interior, or the RC class YKK lockable zippers, or the um, mill grade ITW and UTX Duraflex hardware, um, circular zipper loop, high tensile strength nylon webbings and binding tapes, even the uh, high tensile strength bonded nylon thread. But we're not going to do all that. I'll put those specs in the description below. We're just going to talk about what I think is so cool about this pack. Okay, I'm going to try to keep all this in the camera. So first of all, Gonna show you this pack by the way the carabiner does not come with it so but we got i've got that there because i had some my water bottle hanging on there so we'll just start out with the back like always got a very nice padded back which also features a padding for a full size i got my full size macbook pro in here just fine it's got a loop here that has some velcro on the inside of it back there and then you can actually uh it comes with a waist belt it's got Velcro inside of it, so it fastens inside there. I took it out just because I didn't really, really want to wear it, uh, a blade, but it actually does help you support the weight really well. It's got really nice contoured padded shoulder straps. And if you want to, if you want to use a hydration bladder, you got uh, an opening on either side for the hydration bladder, here or here. And then you've got Velcro keepers for your hose and um, just a loop you can hook, you can hook uh, something on. You've got more slides here. You can put your, your hose down. Um, you got a chest strap here that's adjustable with an elastic 
and it slides up and down and just the attention to the details there again they, they put the, the keepers on here so if you want you know roll this up whenever you get it how you want it you don't have a bunch of stuff hanging around on you and the um it's just very very well designed and very padded it's kind of got that mesh mesh style back for airflow then turn around to the side we saw this just a minute ago but it has a side pocket with the moly loops on it it's also got a slip in here and then you open this up it actually opens all the way out. Oh, drop the waist belt. Let's get it out of the way. Um, and you can put your pins and stuff in there. You got some slides in here for whatever you want to quick, easy access to. Nice little key clipper on here with a ball on it so it slides around. I mean, that's just that. I mean, that's just a, that's attention to detail. You just don't find on lower end packs um, that, you know, just high quality stuff. We got uh, sliding on around to the other, to the front. We got a couple of, uh, of loops here for lashing or whatever you want to do with them then we've got moly they've got their moly air i believe they're calling this webbing on front which is actually velcro it's, this is the uh the loop side for velcro you can put patches or whatever on there but you can also got the, sl the slots cut in for lower weight you can hook on again regular strapping loops here then open a snap here it's got a big a zipper pocket on the front um, i like the way they've got this high vis fabric in here because it really does help you see inside there and, and locate items if you got a lot of stuff or if it's dim zip that up it's got extra closure here over the zipper you can kind of help secure that okay, and then behind that that slip in pocket there's a fold out pocket here it doesn't fold all the way out but it folds pretty far out and i've had some snacks in my, my pad from blade show but it's got a big pocket here opens up with velcro and then you've got another one of those cool key keepers or whatever that's what i call them and then several uh you know got business cards in there and different pin slots there and a big slip in slide in pocket behind that which is cool also so and once again the ykk zippers this one is actually lockable um for tsa lock or cable lock or whatever if you go up top there's another pocket first of all you got another place with a that you can for the velcro attachment you got elastic keeper cord here and another pocket that's got a front velcro pocket there then it's got some elastic loops here and another slide in pocket back there so i mean that's just a really cool pocket there um you turn around to the other side you've got um, again, I've got the, the, the carabiner does not come with it, obviously. you got some more Molly or Pals webbing here. I'm not sure which one you call it. I'm never in the military. But a couple of more loops here that you can hook stuff on. Um, you can you can clip carabiners on here like so. It's whatever, whatever floats your boat, man. And then that's pretty much the out exterior pockets and stuff so it's also got a really nice well-made padded hand strap here if you can you can just carry it like that works really really well then um oh one more thing on the back and we'll show you this in a minute but this is like your concealed carry pocket so if you're sliding this off and you slide it off your, your left shoulder you can reach in here and you can actually got a big velcro panel in there i've got their optional pistol sleeve here and a magazine sleeve up here and that just velcros right in there so if you got this hanging off your right shoulder you can reach right in and get your weapon if you need to and so those are optional accessories i think they're like 12 bucks a piece or eight bucks a piece or something but um just a, another really easily accessible way to uh carry your concealed carry weapon now to get to the main compartment it's got this kind of unique um contour zipper so one side the the uh right side of the pack if you're facing it opens down to about here but the other side instead of having a pocket here where the uh, other one does a separate pouch it just opens all the way up and i just had a couple of knives in here i need to take out so i had all kinds of stuff in here the other day but then you've got a big wide open um area here and then in, inside here you got a, a little pocket inside that pouch you put small gear in here i mean this thing is full of pockets um you got another pocket up here that's separated with a velcro you got another pocket here and then it came with some i've got a couple three of them in the house already it came with some dividers here that you can you can velcro in several different ways padded dividers that you can sort sort your gear out so when you're reaching in from the side you can have different compartments like this and finally there's a, a whole big strip of the velcro material on front and back for attaching whatever you want to attach we'll just stick that out of the way now finally there's an elastic retention strap over a padded your padded um laptop 
sleeve or whatever you want to put in there. You can put a uh, water bladder in there. There's actually a little Velcro loop up here to attach your water bladder, which is just another excellent feature because it beats the heck out of a little, little fabric loop that some of the lower end packs would have. Uh, just everything about this pack is just 100% super high quality. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back you up before it gets dark here and, and show you kind of like the way the concealed carry thing works. Real quick before I show you that, also a couple of things new from VanQuest this year. They have this, man, I gotta get it apart too. They have this Molly Air panel, which is basically a Velcro panel that sticks on this side and the other side is, is the uh, is the loop part. So it's got hooks on one side, loops on the other. Then it's got, comes with these little strips that are going to help you secure stuff. And it's got all these slots in it. I'm sorry it's getting dark quick on me here, I know. All these slots in it that you can just attach this to anything that's got the Velcro and it'll stay. And then they also have the same kind of concept, but it's got an elastic um, shock cord on it. So elastic webbing, so man, it's just sticky stuff. Okay, so there's that, just as an aside. Uh, these are optional accessories. Let me throw this thing on, we'll wrap this video up. So another great feature of this pack, in my opinion, is if you do have a concealed carry weapon in there, you need to access it, it's really easy to do. You basically slip it off your left shoulder, just let it slide around like so, reach up here, grab your zipper, and you're out. Now, I could probably do that a lot faster if I wasn't trying to do it on camera, or if somebody was, you know, if I really needed to. But, so that just works really, really well. And it gives you the, the, in my opinion, it gives you the comfort of a, of a double strap backpack as, um, as opposed to a sling pack because you don't have to worry about it coming off your shoulder. And again, you can have the belt pack on it. But it's also, it's really easy just to, just to slip that shoulder out, reach in, and get it. So um, there you go. I, again, I've had this for a couple of months, but I really wanted to check it out and use it. And I thought that the uh, Blade Show was a great torture test for it. I'm happy to say it passed with flying colors, I really like this pack. And again, this is not a low budget pack. Around 155 bucks for, for, for the gray, the tan, or the black. 165 for the uh, camo patterns. But like the, every VanQuest thing I've looked at, this is something that you're gonna buy once and it's gonna last you literally years and years and years and years of really, really hard, tough use. Actually, if you do a lot of flying, I think this will make a great carry-on. I think it meets every carry-on um, size requirement there is. And if you did have to check it, I think this one would stand up pretty well against the old baggage handler. So if you're a baggage handler, no, no, no insult intended, okay? So anyway, once again, thanks to the folks at VanQuest for sending me this so I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, I put out a new video every Friday, a new Stray Saturday video every Saturday, and usually several others throughout the week. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let Google know you like this kind of stuff. And finally, thank you as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting the channel financially by doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. Uh, you can either check out the product links in the description or go to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash Amazon. You can do your shopping, pay, the, pay your regular price, and then help support the channel a little bit financially. You can also help support the channel by checking out a free one-month trial to audible.com. You can get a free audio book, and if you like it, you can continue with it. If you don't, just cancel it at cost you nothing and it still helps support the channel and I really sincerely appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time. I could bore you to death, so um, it's high strength, tense, high tink,